Hi everyone, it's me, Regina, and welcome to my channel where I talk about my love for beauty and my passion for motherhood. So today I am very, very excited because I got a new phone and my husband surprised me with it last week and I am so happy because just a quick pause after a few months of moving to Paris my phone that was really nice got stolen and that was really sad and I was left with a simple and budget phone which did its job but it's really nice now that after over a year and a half I got a new phone and it can finally keep up with today's technology and not lag on me so yeah that's it back to the video not only because it is the color purple which is absolutely beautiful but this was very much heavily endorsed by BTS which I am a huge fan of I am a baby army pretty much because I think about just a month ago or more than a month ago that I've been loving them so much. So shout out to my fellow armies out there. If you guys want to know, this is the spec list of the phone in case you want to grab yourself one. And no, I'm not sponsored by Samsung, but I wish I was. Samsung. Bikaniman slash holla at ya girl. <laughs> And so with that, this look today is very much inspired by this phone and its beautiful colors. So let's get to it. All right, so I've prepped my face with BB cushion, concealer, and eyebrows. Because today's look, I just wanted to focus on the eyes since this is the focal point of the inspired look for today. Starting with an eyeshadow primer, just apply it all over your lids to make that shadow pop. Using the Naked Ultraviolet palette, I'm going to start with Mind Slip. It is a peachy shade and let's just focus on the center of our lids and make sure to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm taking Dazed, which is a sparkly but deeper peachy color, and just apply them as well on the middle of your lids. Taking Optimize, which is a lavender type of shade, and applying them on the inner corner and outer corner of your lids. Taking Warning and Cyberpunk, which is a pink and deeper purple shade, Mix them, mixing them both together. Applying them also on the inner and outer corner of our eyes just to deepen the shadows and deepen that purple look. taking the color Lucid and it is actually more of a highlight which reflects more on the green tones. Applying them on the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten it up. This is really nice once the light shines on it. Taking a smaller brush and the same shade, applying it on my lower lash line, focusing on the center. Taking a cotton swab just to wipe off any moisture and powder or anything on my waterline and using the NYX Faux White Eyeliner, I will apply them on my lower waterline. This should open up our eyes and brighten it up. Now I'm going to curl those lashes. Taking a brown 
eyeliner I will fill in my upper lash line and fill in the gaps of my lashes this should give volume to my lash line and my lashes <laughs> basically <laughs> Taking a flat brush and just blending it out, making sure everything is covered. I'm going to use a liquid liner to just create a super thin line on my lashes, just to define it even more and create the tiniest, tiniest wing ever. And I'm also doing this because the lashes, the falsies that I'll be using has a black band. So this should cover it a little bit. Okay, so this is the microphone of the cell phone and also the front-facing camera. Just how it sort of looks so far compared to the video, the camera that I'm using. The beautification settings are off. This is a raw file. No edit and no filters on top of it. Nothing, no coloring from post at it anything. So yeah, this is how it looks. Now I'm going to take my favorite Dolly Wink lashes and I did them off cam because it takes forever. And now I'm trying this new product from Kiko Milano. It's a white liner that's very trendy right now. It has a very, very thin felt tip so it does create precise lines which is really nice this was probably the most tiring and stressful time i've ever felt with using a liner not because of the product but the technique that you need to have because you can't really make a mistake and you just have to create lines unlike with a liner you can just shade it in or create different shapes with this one you really can't afford a mistake or else you have to erase everything yeah i was stressed <laughs> now i'm using a, a glitter and it's white but it reflects green and here I'm using a primer and I'm focusing on the center of my lids and we will be using that as sort of as an adhesive for the glitter. Just enough for a sparkle, not too much, depends on you, but this is how I like it. And I'm using a mascara to apply on my lower lashes to open up my eyes and also adding some of my falsies because the white liner got some on it. And now I'm taking a pink and soft blush, applying generously. And now let's highlight. Taking a brush and applying them on the temples of my cheek and a little bit on my forehead using my fingers for a more focused highlight on my cheeks. Now I'm taking a pink gloss and applying it all over my lips. Though it was too light for me, so I took my Jeffree Star in Unicorn Blood and applied some on my inner part of my lips just to pink it up. <laughs> What you're seeing right now is the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE's rear camera and I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's what you're seeing. This is the regular video setting on 2000 resolution 60 frames 
which is the setting that's on and yeah so what do you guys think of the look and also what do you think of the quality of the camera <laughs> Here's a look to the portrait mode of the front facing camera, just in case you wanted to see, and that is on the left side. So what do you guys think of the look? I hope you guys like it. This is one of my favorite looks so far, and yeah, hope you guys have a good day, stay healthy, and boraje, my armies. Bye! <laughs>